Hey, it's me, Kobe, the guy with a consistent upload schedule. <laughs> Anyways, a lot of you guys wanted a video on how I color grade my photos, like this, for example. Or this. Or this. I know you saw. I guess let's just hop straight into it. Enjoy. Alright, before we start, I'll just say something. You can use any photo editing software you have, but for this video, I'll be using Lightroom. And uh, one more thing, I won't be teaching how to use Lightroom, but I'll only be teaching you guys how I edit my photos personally. I have a photo here, and uh, the first thing I do is think of what kind of look I'm going for. So when taking photos, you should already know what kind of look you're going to go for. And for this one, I I'm going for, I guess, a candid shot with Ganyu and a Rose III in the bottom left third of the frame and in portrait mode so the first thing i do is crop the image so this is uh, crop i did if you want to know how i take my photos i have a video on that link in the description all right so you pretty much just adjust every slider you see until it looks nice and if it doesn't don't touch it that's pretty much how i edit my photos okay so the first thing i do is i adjust the tones and this one, it's nighttime, so I'll, go, I'll be going for a deep, dark, contrasty tone. But at the same time, highlighting Ganyu's loneliness and Liwa. So you can see there's just not much people around, so I guess that's... I, it wasn't really intentional, but it looks nice. I'll be going for a pink, reddish look. So I guess that's enough. And the first thing I do is just adjust the contrast itself to make the darks and lights have more contrast to each other. So I'll be adjusting the exposure to my liking, like... This. So this is the before, this is the after. I'll be going for negative 0.20 here, 25, and a contrast of 15. For the highlights, I'll be. I won't be changing the highlight that much. For the shadows, since I'm going for a very deep dark look, I'll be going for maybe negative 45. And for the whites, going for maybe plus 15, since I want to highlight Liba's nightlife here. So this is the before, this is the after. It's not that much, but in the end, it'll look good. While editing this video, my Twitter just reached 500 followers. <laughs> Follow me on Twitter. Thanks. Uh, okay, back to the video. For the blacks, you can adjust it however you want. Since I'm going for a deep dark tone, I'll be going for maybe negative 10 here. And it's looking good so far uh, with Ganyu in the bottom left third of the frame. Alright, for the texture, um, this, this. A lot of Genshin photographers use this. They love this. I also love this. Here are some examples, some photos. And they really use this a lot. So back in the photo, if you can see, if we adjust the clarity, it just makes it more detailed. And they love using it. For me though, I don't really like using it a lot. I do use it in my photos, but not. it's quite subtle. So for this, maybe, I guess, plus... 20 is enough since it just adds more contrast and depth to the photo for the texture it, as the name suggests it adds more texture to the photo so here we go so you can see this is this is with it's at max and this is the original one i'll make it subtle maybe plus 15 or plus 10 all right there we go the haze as the name suggests it pretty much just adjusts the haze of the photo uh, like if you if you want it to be foggy you go with this if you don't want it to be foggy you go with this but for me i'll, I'll be going for uh i think plus five or plus four okay that's good enough for the vibrance maybe this four this is the after so far tone curve um if you know how to use tone curves, let's go to new. If you want to learn how to use tone curves, I recommend just watching tutorials on YouTube. Okay, so for this one, I'll be lifting the blacks so I can have that faded look here. And uh, for the shadows, I'll also go a bit darker. And maybe adjust the blacks a bit so I can make it more faded. It's right, good enough. And for the midtones, um, I'll be going for this. And All right, so there we go before and after as you can see it added more depth to it and more contrast and for the reds here as you can see there's lots of reds here uh so what i do here is adjust it to what i think is good if i'll be going for a more brighter red for the orange it's 
it's kind of too much. I'll be going for negative five here and like just uh, dominance for a bit. And that's good enough. Yellows, um, we're going for plus 15 and saturation to make. Alright, so for this photo, I'll be holding Lewis nightlife. So I'll be making the mountains, the blues in the photo more darker. So since I kind of hate how bright it is in Genshin, how everything is so bright, uh, I'll be going for a less brighter look. A saturation and I guess that's enough for the blues. We do this, saturation, luminance, I guess a bit lower. And adjust the uh, hue to our liking. I'll go for a deep blue look. Plus three. Adjust saturation, luminance to our liking, and there we go. As you can see, it's looking good so far. And for the magentas, I'll be going for a more reddish type, so maybe plus 60 is enough, and adjust the saturation to our liking, maybe plus 20. And the luminance to maybe negative three. So this is looking good so far. Alright, next is. Here, color grading. I'll be adding blues in the shadows, but for the mid-tones, I'll be going for orange, and for the highlights, I'll be going for orange also. As you can see, it just adds more color to the photo. Alright, for I'll uh, going for uh I'll make it I'll add vignette here. And for the grain, um uh, what grain? Do we touch this? Yes, we do. I actually use green a lot in my photos. Next to the calibration, I'll be I like the way it looks right now. So I won't be uh, adjusting things that much, maybe only a few. Oh, that's too much. Um, negative 25 maybe is enough here. And uh, I don't go by rules in editing my photos. I just touch every slider I see and hope that it'll look good. If it doesn't look good, I won't touch it. But if it looks good, I'll touch it. I'll be going for a more aqua type of look here. Yeah, like that. But that's, I guess, too much. Negative 20 is enough here. And just adjust the saturation or lighting. Oh, well, plus five maybe is enough. So this is the before of the calibration, it's the after. Uh, it's looking good so far. Next is these. I I use this filters a lot in my photos, so I just adjust exposure. Uh, so what it does, you can you can use it to control how your photo looks. So by darkening this bottom part, it just makes Ganyu, our subject, uh, stand out. I use this a lot in my photos. I'll be going for this too up here, and this too. But for this, I'll make it subtle since that's in the buildings, maybe negative. Okay, so the recording got cut here and I didn't really notice. <laughs> but here's the final results. After color grading it, I went into Photoshop to add more elements to make it look better. That's it for this photo. Moving on. Go! I forgot to hit record. Anyways, this is our, this is what I did. I had my friend take this photo and uh my goal here was to have just Xiao walking and uh, I know it's quite shallow but you'll get the story soon. So first thing I did was crop it so made it portrait like this and that same thing I did was adjust tones to my liking so I went and changed everything else a lot more deeper by adjusting the shadows, contrast and then the presence, like texture clarity to my liking. And uh, I, I didn't really bother using the tone curve since it didn't really change much. So I went straight for the HSL here and uh, I adjusted it in a way that uh, everything here became, I guess, yellowish, like fall. And um, I went to color grading next and made it so that everything is much more warmer and looks a lot more fall. And I added vignette and green so it, it looks a lot more cleaner. Next thing I did was adjust uh, calibration. So I went and adjusted everything. I went for this look here. Uh, so what I did here, I just adjust the blue here, the blue primary. This is what it originally looked like. And uh, I made it the blue hue to negative 25 and just made it to negative 90. As you can see, it just made everything look a lot more nostalgic. And that, that was the look I was going for, like having Xiao be depressed. <laughs> After that, I adjusted the dehaze in the basics. So it looks a lot more deeper in color. I adjusted everything else here to make it more pop. And um, I used graduated filters to have Xiao highlighted. So that's pretty much how I edit this photo. And I guess that's that's a wrap here.
<laughs> okay, so that's the second photo done. I wanted it to be nostalgic and I believe I achieved that look. Alright, next photo. Bring out your ruler. Oh no, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, now that you have your ruler, go beside that. At the show. Alright, next photo. So we first we crop the photo to our liking and um, adjust it. So I'll be also going for a nostalgic look here, but how? That's a question. First exposure, I'll bring it down to make it more visible. Like this, adjust the contrast. I have to have contrast in the photo. For the highlights, uh, hmm, I'll, I'll leave it as is. For shadows, I'll go with negative 100 since that looks nicer. Um, hmm, maybe this. I don't want to change this. Let's find the way it is. And for this, I'll go for a deeper tone. This is enough here. And um, texture-wise, uh, I'll add more texture to the photo. Like negative 15. Clarity at clarity. The photo like this. 30 and uh, dehaze. As you can see, it's looking quite nice so far. This is the before and this is the after. Anyways, the hotkey. If you're curious on what I use, the swap between the before and after, there's this button up above the enter key, which you can press, switch between before and after. Right, tone curve. I'll be going for more contrasty tone. Ah, uh, there you go. All right, HSL. Um, hue, 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 hue. We'll go for the reds here. Okay, let's let, let's try to change it. So just pretty much just adjust every slider you see, mess with it, and if it's it looks nice, leave it be. If it doesn't look nice, just change it the way so it looks nice. Uh, for the reds, this is too intense here, so let's adjust it to our liking. Um, negative. Okay, negative 30 is enough. And just adjust it to what I think is good. So maybe 0 is enough. Is enough. Oh, I won't be changing it that much. Next is the oranges. Um, I'll make it negative 10 maybe and I'll adjust it to our liking. Maybe this is enough here. Um, um, is this good? Okay, that's looking good so far. Yellows. Um, let's find the way it is. Let's just adjust it to, to what looks nice. At the 5 and the... Uh, Plus 20, maybe. Alright, um, next is the, as you can see, there's not really much blues. I think there's, <laughs> blues just non-existent, so let's move on to purples and uh, adjust it to our liking. I'll make it more bluish and less saturated and less luminous. so here we go for magenta, um, less and less. As you can see, it's looking quite nice so far. It looks really, really nice. And, uh, next is the color grading. For the mid-tones, I'm going for the orange look, and for the shadows, go to blue, highlights to orange. It doesn't change much, but it, it's there. It just adds a bit more color. Let's head straight to the effects, adjust it to our liking. Right. Right, for the green, yes, we'll for sure add green here, since uh, that should be enough here. Calibration, same thing, adjust it to what, what you think looks nice, and just, uh, maybe <laughs> this is enough. Um, we'll adjust things to what looks nice. So maybe plus 15 here is good. And uh, for the blues, maybe get a 5. And uh, hmm. and I'll uh, just uh, blues to uh, what we like. Uh, then we'll add graduated filters. Push her down, highlights, shadows. And uh, for here, up here too. Another two. Actually, no, we don't really need that. Uh, I'll use this to highlight Xiao. Uh, Babana? Or you have to make Xiao pop more. So maybe this is enough. There we go. That's pretty much how I edit my photos. Okay, so that's it. Here's the final result and in Photoshop, I just added the blur. I'm sorry that this video took a while to upload. I was really busy with school and, and other stuff. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. And in the end, if it seemed that I sounded dead, it was because I was quite tired. The photos I edited will be posted on Twitter, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always unsubscribe. Peace!